Welcome to this Sage Business Cloud Accounting demo. In this video, you will see how to set up opening balances for customers, vendors, bank accounts, and general ledger accounts. The opening balance is the amount in an account at the beginning of an accounting period. Whether you're setting up your accounting system from scratch or changing over from another accounting system, you're likely to have opening balances. Entering these opening balances ensures an accurate view of your business in accounting and enables you to start recording payments for these amounts due. We recommend that you start using accounting from the start of a new accounting period, such as a new month or quarter, or the start of your fiscal year. All your opening balances will be as of that date. To enter your opening balances, you need three things. First, a list of your outstanding customer and vendor invoices and credit notes. Second, your closing trial balance from your previous accounting period. Third, your bank statements, as well as a list of outstanding transactions from your previous accounting system. Outstanding transactions are bank transactions you have entered in your previous system, but that have not yet appeared on your bank statement. For example, uncleared checks. You can enter all your opening balances at once, or you can enter them at different times. For example, if you've not received your full trial balance from your accountant, you may start by entering your customer, vendor, and bank opening balances. The remaining values from the trial balance can be entered later. Before we get started, let's double check the account's start date, which is the first date you started using accounting. Opening balances are entered as of this date. Under Settings, click Financial Settings. Confirm the correct account start date is displayed or updated if necessary. Let's save to return to the settings. To enter opening balances, scroll down to Opening Balances. You'll find four sections for customers, vendors, bank, and general ledger. Let's start with customers and click New Opening Balance. If you are creating an opening balance for an invoice, select Bill from the Type drop down list. If you're creating an opening balance for a credit, select Credit Note from the Type drop down list. Select a customer as well as the date for the document. The date must precede your account start date. Enter a reference for the opening balance, such as the invoice or credit note number. In the Details area, enter any additional information, such as what the invoice or credit note was for. Enter the amount of the invoice or credit note in the total field for your customer and save the customer opening balance. Repeat these steps until you've entered all outstanding invoices and credit notes for each of your customers. If you have a large number of opening balances for customers, you may choose to import these opening balances. Hover over the arrow next to New Opening Balance and select Import Opening Balances. A template can be downloaded and filled in Excel. Once you're ready to upload it, select the file and click Upload. Note that if you have outstanding payments on account, you should enter these as credit notes which you can then allocate to invoices later. Let's return to the settings and scroll down to Opening Balances to add opening balances for vendors. The process is the same as for customer opening balances. Click New Opening Balance to start, then select a vendor, date, transaction type, bill or credit note, a reference, which may be the invoice or credit note number, additional details, and the total amount. Repeat these steps until you've entered all outstanding invoices and credit notes for each of your vendors. Like customer opening balances, vendor opening balances can also be imported. With the outstanding transactions for customers and vendors entered, let's have a look at bank account opening balances. In the opening balances section, click Bank. Note that your bank accounts need to first be set up from within the Banking tab in order to appear here. In the Type column, choose whether the balance is a debit or a credit value. If your bank account had a negative balance as of the account start date, select Payment, Credit. If your bank account had a positive balance, select Receipt, Debit. Enter your bank account balance from your bank statement in the Opening Balance field. 
Repeat the previous step on the next available lines until you've entered the opening balances for each of your bank accounts. If you have bank items entered in your previous system that have yet to clear your bank account, you should record these here on separate lines using the date of the original transaction. This will enable you to reconcile these items once they appear in your statement. Once all the opening balances are entered, click Save. Finally, we'll enter opening balances for general ledger accounts. In the settings, click General Ledger. The opening balances you've entered for your customers, vendors and bank accounts appear here automatically. Notice that the opening balances control account currently has a balance. This means that the total debits and total credits are not balanced. To enter additional opening balances, confirm or modify the date and the reference at the top of the page. Select each amount that has a balance in your trial balance prior to your account start date and enter a balance on the debit side or on the credit side accordingly. In our example, we'll add opening balances for a few accounts. Once all your opening balances have been entered, the opening balance control account should not have a balance, and you can click Save. Congratulations! You now know how to enter opening balances for customers, vendors, bank accounts, and general ledger accounts in Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Music